you everything you need. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Good morning, everybody. It's a little chilly out today. So today is uh, the day where we go in and sign the paperwork for our new mortgage and, oh, excuse me, stuff like that. I'm just waking up, trying to figure out what's going on here. Letting the boys out. So let me collect myself here. I'll talk to you in a bit. Come on, boys. Easy. Frankie, come on, bud. Chevy, you hungry? Want some breakfast? Oh boy, somebody's hungry. Frankie, hey, we're all waiting for you, bud. Come on, bud. Come on there, little old man. Come on. There you go, bud. It's cold out there. You can see my breath. Good morning, weasel. You guys ready for breakfast? You hungry? You hungry? I'll take that as a yes. Whew, it's pretty cold today. Windshield was even all frosted up. You know it's gonna be a good one. I am so glad we have vehicles that are equipped with heat and with air conditioning. So no matter what the season you can ride comfortably down the road isn't that amazing and we take that for granted it didn't always used to be that way like what did they do for thousands of years without air conditioning like for heat they obviously made fire but crazy world we live in eh? so yeah i'm meeting brit in steinbeck uh gonna leave my truck there while we uh take her vehicle to go get these papers signed because uh, she's going straight to work after, and then I'm gonna come back home, start packing, and she'll come join me after she's done work. Everything you need. <laughs> In the wife mobile. You've got heated seats. Heated seats and XM radio. Yep. And four less cylinders to burn less gas. 
one more step yet. We're done with the, 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 the banks. Now the banks need to forward all that info to our lawyers and then they got to get all that ready for us to go there and give them about 10,000 signatures. And then I'm getting pretty good at my signature already. Got to sign a lot of stuff. Uh, then go to the lawyers, sign that all away tomorrow or the next day and then we'll see if I can get one more load in this week yet at work or if they're just going to leave me at home now until we move. Uh, it's kind of likely that that's going to happen I think because it's very unlikely that I can get out Wednesday and be back Friday unless if they have something quick to like Regina and back, maybe Edmonton, Calgary and back and it's got to be uh, like I can't be late so they don't want to send me out and then leave me out there and have me gone for our moving weekend because then we don't move and then lawyers are wondering why did you not move why are you still in your house these other people they need to move into the house your stuff is still in the house now we got problems so uh i came to u-haul here now just to make sure that my reservation was correct because i had conflicting they told me that i had it for the whole weekend uh, but when I got the email confirmation from uhaul.com or whatever, I got the email saying that I only had it for Saturday. So I came in here to talk to them, came here to talk to them in person just to make sure that I have it for the whole weekend because uh, it, it's going to take the whole weekend. I can't pick it up on Sunday because this is Steinbeck, this is the southeast of Manitoba. Everything's closed on Sunday besides restaurants and stuff so that people have somewhere to eat after church. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to make sure that my, my U haul is here. And uh, I see him over there. You see that? They brought in a couple more. So now they got a GMC. I wonder if I'm gonna get the GMC now. I'd kinda actually like the Ford better. But uh, you didn't just hear me say that. Oh, the only reason I say that is because I think the Ford is newer. I don't really care as long as it runs and doesn't break down. You see, they just had one of these 26 footers here last time we came to look. Now they got two of these Fords and a GMC. Wonder if they'll stick me in the GM? Those Fords look a little newer. I don't mind driving Ford. I don't mind. Looks a little newer than the GMC. I don't know. I guess it'll be a surprise. Is it the GMC? Is it the Ford? Who knows? Just a toss of the dice. We'll find out. Okay, so Brit's at work now. I've got to go home and uh, continue packing. Got to get our Christmas lights packed up and the garage. All of my stuff. Brit has everything else packed up already because she's awesome and getting stuff done. Now I gotta do the garage. Shouldn't take too long. It's not like I have it too packed full of stuff. <laughs> uh, better get going. And we're at home. We'll get a little bit done today and we'll get the rest done tomorrow. How about that? We're allowed to procrastinate a little bit still. We have one week until we move. Just one week. But that's seven days. So we'll do a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. How about that? For now, I think a few people that I know Yes, you are peoples. Few people need to go outside. What? You guys wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Wiener, are you sure you wanna go outside? I'm not sure. I don't know what you need. I don't know what you want. You, are you sure you wanna go outside? No? I think he wants to go outside. <laughs> All right, everybody. First, let's uh, raise the curtains here. Make sure that there's no bears in the yard that are Gonna lure you out, no coyotes, no wolves, no deer for you to chase. Diesel, looking at you on that one. All right, little guys first. Little guys first, all right. Go on. Chevy, Diesel. All right, here we go. Good boy. Good boy, go on. Go, 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 go. Figured we'd take a little drive down memory lane here before we move. I'm gonna miss this place. I got diesel and Chevy with me. Figured we, while Brit is at work, she should be coming home soon. But before she comes home, I figured we'd just come out here and get one more one more quick drive through the bush. We will have plenty of bush where we're moving to our country property, that big lot that we bought, but it won't be this trail. Lots of memories down here. I can always come back and visit, I guess.
So this is that little hidden pond that I've been coming to for the past, what, six years now? Yeah, it's been six years. Be a little bit of a longer drive to get here now, but I figured we'd come and check it out and bring Chevy here. I don't know if I've brought Chevy here yet. Have you been here already? Not sure, I got Chevy and Diesel with me to go run around here a little bit yet. Come on, boys. Hey, guys, this way. Hey, where are you going? Diesel, bring him this way. Diesel. Ah, oh, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Come on, boys. See, I know we had that private pond on our property there, but there's also this. Little beach out here, not too many people know about. It's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Little beach out here. You can go swim right in the water if you want to. Should have brought my trunks. <laughs> and this lake is actually taken care of, or this lake, this pond. And it's uh, it's a lot better than my pond was. And you sort of got to know where it is. It's a local secret. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sad that we're moving away from it. I'm not that far away. I mean, I can still come. I can still come and visit it. Just not going to be the same. But better things are in store. A lot of you are saying, oh, you're going to miss that property we have so much. Don't worry. The country property we bought outside of town, as we develop that, it's going to be even better. It's going to be even better than this one. The only thing that bothers me about having a public secret spot like this is that there's always those people that come here and ruin it for everyone else. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Really bothers me so much. You have this nice nature area. You know what? Somebody prepared this. Somebody takes care of that water there to make it swimmable, to keep it clean. And you come here on the weekend. Usually they come from the city. I'm just going to say it. They usually come from Winnipeg or they come from out of town. They know about this place. They come here and they do this. Really bothers me. Really really bothers me it's got to be a community effort these are a lot of people or these are the kind of people that you know have mom and dad clean up after after every little mess they made you know as they were growing up mommy would clean up after them every single time they never had to clean up their own mess and as they grew up into adults and they got their driver's licenses and stuff and they come out here they make a big mess and they just expect someone else to clean it up whereas this this is a hidden gem there is nobody who comes around here and cleans things up. There is nobody who who is paid to come here or even has it on their schedule. There's no volunteers, no nothing. It's just a community space that's supposed to be kept clean by the community. But outsiders keep coming in and wrecking it for everybody. Bothers me. Bothers me a lot. But hey, what can we do, right? We don't want to end off on a negative point like that. Other than the lesson from today is clean up after yourself and, you know, respect spaces that other people use, you know, let's just try to try to leave it better than you found it. That's a good rule to have. You know, you find a nice space like that and you come there to enjoy the day or something, leave it better than, than you left. We cleaned up that garbage there so that then uh, we took it back and threw it out. Uh, so that way we, we left it better than we found it, right? Not worse. Because if everybody leaves it worse than they found it, eventually it's just a big garbage heap that nobody enjoys, right? You always, always find something you can do to make it just a little bit better when you leave so that the next person hopefully does the same thing, right? But it's kind of a lazy day today. I think we took this day to just relax. Where's Wiener? Oh, there you are. I see you back there, bud. I see you. Right here. Right here, YouTube. Hello. Hello, guten tag. Uh, you like sleeping in there, eh? This is this is a safe space, you know. Nothing bad can happen when you're in there. This whole house is a safe space. But 
Nothing bad will ever happen, right? You guys are the most loved dogs on the planet. I am pretty sure of it. Some people may argue that their dogs are the most loved. Nay, nay. Oh, I'm tired and I'm sore from paintballing. So I'm gonna take this day to just relax and uh, got some more signings to do with the lawyers tomorrow. Probably not going to get out on the road for a little while yet. So I'm gonna be some more home time content coming, but don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna get back to trucking because I can hear the comments already. Actually, I don't, I don't see them that often. You guys know, I've been doing this long enough. You guys have been watching long enough to know that we'll be back on the road. And I know for a lot of you, that's your favorite content. I know I am trucker, Josh, you sort of want to see some trucking. I get it, but there's more to me than just the trucker part of my name. My, that's actually not part of my legal name. My name is actually Josh, not trucker Josh, but uh, you know me as Trucker Josh, I guess, and you expect to see some trucking now and then. So don't worry, we'll get back to it. But uh, in the meantime, I will share with you other parts of my life. Hope you enjoy that as well. I'm gonna end it here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We make daily videos. We've been doing it for a long time. You got a lot to catch up on if you're new. Hit that bell so you don't miss tomorrow's video and you can start keeping up with what it's like to be me, I guess. <laughs> what it's like in the life of a trucker, daily life. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.